don't like, Vada Fly gonna recap this and say Gotti caught a 30 on the John Road. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy, y'all the game. Time has Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire fly. We used to rap it like that. Videos, but bet I get that check and have them out the land with pretty hoes. Feel me though, I'm bullin', boy. Just keep the boo, keep moving, boy. You don't wanna be the reason to ask me where we shoot for. Cause be all the time. All the time. 24 7. A minute as I count my blessings, this will take a minute. Cause he's been good to me, good to me as good can be. Yeah, yeah, you already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers. That notification game, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you respect the handle. I got my guy with me. Showtime as Peter, nobody that knows bodies. <laughs> yeah, so uh the rest of the card, you know what I'm saying? What's the rest of the battles on uh Max Out? Uh well, you know we, him off top. Uh, uh uh off the jump, we gotta just jump right on into it. We got Ill Will versus A Ward. I think that's where the money at. I mean, yeah. That's I mean, what I'm here to see. I mean, if we maxing out, that's what I'm maxing out. That's what, I, that's what I'm here to see. Battle of the night, yeah, all that. Let's do it like this, right? <laughs> so, um, we are we still on the mantra. Mm -hmm. The truth sounds like hate mm -hmm. to the niggas that hate the truth, right? So, um, you got A-Ward. Who mad people are starting to ask about why is he on URL? Why is he on URL? That's a fire sweater, by the way. That's ThinkCoach.com for the merchandise. So, anyway, um... A lot of people's asking why A-Ward ain't on um, URL, why A-Ward ain't on URL. A-Ward mm -hmm. has done this. A-Ward has said, fuck that. If I ain't going to be on URL, <laughs> I'm going to bring URL to me. <laughs> and that's what he's done. He's battled a lot of people. He got Arsenal coming up, and he got Ill Will coming up. That's better than niggas that's on the motherfucking roster. They ain't even getting battles that good. Not in the store legacy. They ain't getting them kind of battles. Mm -hmm. He got Ill Will, and he got Arsenal coming up. So, mm -hmm. um... Ill Will, for, for, for me, I rock with Ill Will. Ill Will has posted content from here when we blogged on um, him versus 40 Cal. He probably posted on his Instagram and things like that. And, I, you know, I got a respect for him. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Um, I feel like Ill Will does everything right in the ring, but everything wrong outside the ring. And I'm going to get into it. I'm going to get into it. We got time. I'm going to throw it to you when I'm done. Go ahead. Um, <laughs> Ill Will doesn't promote. You know what I'm saying? I think he just posted the flyer for the battle with him, A Ward, like yesterday. Mm. This shit been out for like almost three, four weeks. He just posted the flyer. Okay. Uh, I think he just did an interview. Salute the three letter man. He just did an interview with him. That's his first interview about this battle. Mm. Uh, doesn't really be on Twitter like that. Mm. Doesn't like have a YouTube channel. Doesn't mark. There's, there's no brand in there. You know what I'm saying? It's just a basic. I'm gonna show up. I'm a battle. I'm a bounce. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's cool if that's what you just want to do. If you don't want like, okay, let's take a person like Gucci Gotti for instance. Mm -hmm. Gucci Gotti got clothes. Keisha Gotti got a motherfucking store. Keisha Gotti got a podcast. Keisha Gotti battles on a bunch of leagues. Mm -hmm. Keisha Gotti's doing music videos. Keisha Gotti's doing music. Keisha Gotti's fucking still, probably still got hair and shit Does he moving. he still have his own league too? He, and then he got his own fucking league. I done named eight different streams of revenue. This is what I'm talking about when you're you building a brand. Mm -hmm. It's not that Ill Will doesn't rap better than, mm -hmm. worse than people. He's nice. He's nice as a motherfucker. But you should use that to continue to build. Like, for instance, I'm doing this. Mm -hmm. Got clothes. Mm -hmm. Got a regular job. Mm -hmm. Got a rental property. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I got... And then, you know what I'm saying? And then all the other shit. I don't really... You know, niggas, they, they hate that shit. You know what I'm saying? So I, just, 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 but I'm saying you <laughs> need to be able to brand and be able to market yourself on a higher level. Now, when it comes to rap and battle rap, Ill Will is one of the best. Like, yes. he's a Midwest fucking legend. Mm -hmm. You can't name five people in the Midwest that Ill Will can't get with, lyrically. You know what I'm saying? Him versus Cal was crazy. Ill Will gets with him. He, 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 when Av was at his hottest point last year, they put him in front of Ill Will. Put you <laughs> it will park that shit. Hold that. Quick. <laughs> ball for ball. So when it comes to the rap, now, you know what I'm saying? No slight to him. I fuck with Ill Will, but I have to keep it 100. In order to keep it a buck, I got to be honest. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, him versus A War. This is A War's toughest test to date. Toughest test to date. There's no tougher battle than A War's had. And I know he's battled Danny Myers. I was you. I know I get it, but bro, bro. Keep cooking, bro. You good. You good. I, you know, I'm, I'm just leading. <laughs> I'm just leading in. You know what I'm saying? I'm just leading in. This is a similar sound. I hate him though. But let's keep going. This is just a lead in, right? So, um, you have a motherfucker like A Ward. Excuse me. You have a brother like A Ward. I'm my bad. My bad. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, you got it. Who's doing what he's doing at the highest level without cursing? Mm. Battling, man, this man has never had a URL battle. 
but the resume is impeccable. His mm -hmm. resume is second to none. He's mm -hmm. already battled B Dot and Gucci Gotti together. Mm -hmm. He's already battled uh, Danny Myers. Mm -hmm. He's already like he's got mad names with Cortez. Like his resume is filled from top to bottom. Mm -hmm. uh, a battle that people don't really talk about a lot is him versus Mac Myron. Mac Myron kind of got that He did get in there. Mac Myron, I'm just saying. Like, if we're going, he, he's the only person, A was the only person to beat Gigi Gotti, clearly. Yeah. Clearly, like, clearly beat him. Yeah. Like, there's no debating. Yeah. It was in the school room, it was mm -hmm. in the lunchroom with the right. lunch lady mm -hmm. and a couple custodians, mm -hmm. but he still got them. Yeah, I get um, So, what I say is this I feel like Ill Will is, uh, is, 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 is just so impactful, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm. In the ARP, ring. he said a day. Mm. I put on some pounds, I gained some extra weight. Mm -hmm. You got me up here versus this rapping ass Christian muff. What you gonna do if I steal the collection plate? <laughs> if you start doing that type of shit, motherfucker, ill will that freestyle too. I'm one nice <laughs> niggas ever. But when he does that type of shit, dog, ill will is he gets. When he starts doing that, mm. the biblical flip with the lyric, like he starts, because he could rap lyrically, mm -hmm. but then he could crack jokes, yes. and then he got punchlines. Yep. I say Ill Will Ooh. is able to do everything Ooh. well. There's no, he has no weakness in his game. There's no mm. flaws in his game. Mm. He got personality, he got freestyle, he got cadence, he got uh, durability. Like, he got all of the, tra the, the, the traits across the board. Gotcha. But now you got A Ward who's able to do a lot of the same things. Lyrically, fire, my rebuttal game, crazy. crazy. You know what I'm saying? And everything else. This is a battle that I'm very well invested. It's my favorite battle of the whole night. You know what I'm saying? It's the reason why I've been talking about it so long. But I want to flip it over to my guy. Get to it. Man, I agree with everything you were saying, especially the fact when you say Ill Will is really good inside of the ring, but outside of the ring, he's not the best. Because I really don't I don't even know his Twitter handle. Wait, wait, I don't Ill think Will's he got 16 one. 16, he don't you know? use that shit. That's what I'm saying. So, so, but the thing is uh, about guys like Ill Will, um, you know, he is a prize fighter. He doesn't have to promote himself. But the but Ill Will can also go in that category of battle rappers who need a manager, like somebody that can kind of talk shit for them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like they, they he's one of those people. Um, because of the fact that the promotion and everything, that is another entity that needs to come into play. Mm -hmm. We need to keep being shown how dangerous you are. Mm -hmm. Uh shout out to Bill Collector. Another reason why Bill Collector is always on uh, uh on the radar or especially on the timeline, because he's constantly showing videos of hey. Look at this ocean. Whatever y'all thinking is hot right now, this is what I was doing I don't know how long ago. Mm -hmm. He's still keeping himself relevant. Ill Will needs to do the same thing as far as to keep himself relevant. But in the contradiction to that, ARP still going to sign him. And URL still going to sign him. King of the Dots still going to sign him. You see what I'm saying? It's like they don't... He And he doesn't promote. But yet he's still a top name for anybody that's trying to get a killer. If anybody, if anybody thinks of somebody, hmm, who can I put up that's on an up and coming and... I can put somebody up against them that's completely a killer. Same thing that they did with Chef Trash. They sent them ill will. Yeah. They send ill will out there when it's somebody that's trying to get caught up in the in the ranks. He is in his own entity. Same thing goes for A Ward. Mm -hmm. A Ward, because there was a there was a there was a whole little segment, you know what I'm saying? There was a whole pastor and he was going about how he needs to play. Mm -hmm. And there's gonna be a part two about that because what happens is uh, a Ward said that he, a, I said that A Ward needs a plate. I meant that he needed a plate from over there. See the actual blessing that's mm -hmm. coming along yeah. that that we was missing. We was missing the other blessing because ARP was sitting right there. to A Ward, he said, A Ward, you worried about that plate? Well, come on over here. I got greens, beans, potatoes, tomatoes. I got some chicken. I got yeah. some ham. I got some ham hocks over here. You can have all of this and and. Nigga hated you for that recap too. Nigga like said, don't recap no more of my battle. Ooh. His opponent hated you for that shit. He said, don't oh. recap no more. <laughs> like, like, I'm here to tell you, we don't care. I don't care. <laughs> like, we don't care. Uh, you know, like, is the world going to end if we don't recap any more of them battles? No. <laughs> Back to A-Ward. What I'm saying is the same thing that goes with A-Ward is he has that plus he has that promotion-wise. He already gets that push. Him being part of the Four Horsemen, they're always going to constantly big each other up. It's a constant thing yeah. where they're trying to push each other's envelope. Yeah. So, A-Ward already has the backing. He already has the promotion. Now we're talking about how he is in the ring. There is a few people that uh, A-Ward has gotten rattled up against. And you could debatably say that he lost. I also forgot, uh, uh, I forgot about Ilmac. Um, but... Uh, Cause Ill Mac was the only one that had him rattled, and then you said Mac Myron. I was like, Ugh, that's good too. Mm -hmm. Both just stop battling niggas named Mac. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> what you got to think about with A Ward is though, he has the rebuttal game, but Ill Will can negate that. 
He has the the uh, the um the the, the wordplay and the play, uh, 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 A word has the wordplay. It will can negate that too. Mm -hmm. It can even be more impressive if it will does a whole round and not curse. He that means I could do what you do better than what you do, and I'm still gonna talk about murder, killing, and doing drugs and shit like that. I didn't even think about that. Ooh, come on now, you gotta look at the intangibles that both of them have. Mm -hmm. This battle is clear cut to be a. Candidate for Battle of the Year. Mm -hmm. And not to mention, any time that we've said on ARP channel that it's going to be the Battle of the Night, it's usually the Battle of the Night. Mm -hmm. Chef Trez versus uh, Sharon. Mm -hmm. We was like, oh, that's the that's the main event. Uh, what was it, A. Ward and Danny Myers? Mm -hmm. It works for us. But like, you know, I'm just saying. Who do I got winning? I'm going to take the safe bet and say 2-1 either way. <laughs> make sure you pull up that card to make sure we ain't missing nothing besides that. But I think... This battle is, uh, you got your phone, make sure you pull up the card to make sure it's uh, maxed out. Um, mm. But uh, I, I like the battle mm -hmm. a lot, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, it's my favorite battle on the card. Uh, I think these brothers are going to put on a phenomenal performance, both sides. Um, Ill Will is, the last time I seen Ill Will, I believe, I seen him battle two people in one day. You know <laughs> and, and not just battle both, two people. Beat both 30. Not just beat 30. He was 60 in a day. You know what I'm saying? In a day. <laughs> Uh, in the uh, same uh, event. It's a monster, man. <laughs> Three or two people in the same event. It's a... Um, but let's not act like A-Ward can't do the same thing. A-Ward has done two on twos with four hours notice. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was fine. So it's yeah. not like it ain't possible for these things to have. Like, both of... Ugh, oh, this is steel sharper than steel. This is really... Like I said, this could go 2-1 either way. Okay. It, oh. But if I have to pick a, somebody to win... Ah, uh, I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a say... A ward for the upset. Okay. Um, what you think about that? Uh, well, I, I'll get into. Uh, I, I got you got A ward for the upset. I got I got A ward for the upset. Oh man. Well, only because I would have took let me down for forty k. <laughs> uh, oh oh mm -hmm. yeah. You supposed? I'm you supposed still fry that I'm still hurt about that. Will you were supposed to? You were supposed to fry that man. He was supposed to get him up out of here. He definitely was supposed it, to fry it, it, him. He was supposed to. How about you? Mm -hmm. you know, that didn't happen. And that didn't happen. You made it a debatable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think that, uh, you know what I think is the thing, the key thing? I think that uh, Ill Will knows how much people are, uh, or how much people are, 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 are rooting for A-Ward or behind him or want to see him win or, you know, are on his bandwagon, per mm -hmm. se. He want to stop. He, I, to my mind, I would think he want to stop all of that. You know what I'm saying? And if he does, a win against him would part that whole situation. You know right. what I'm saying? Um, O Red versus Jag. Mm. Very interesting battle, man, because uh, Jag now had a couple battles now. And I always say mm -hmm. that it takes about two, three battles for you to really find your battle groove. You know what I'm saying? For you to find what it is that you're going to be doing here. Um, for Reed Dollars, mm -hmm. took him about two, three battles before he really, really is in that bag. Yeah. I like to see Reed again, too. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Um, well, he said he retired. He said he's done. Well, even if he is, you know what I'm saying? He can like, come back at any time he wants. Anytime he wants. <laughs> um, Jag had math. Jag had 40. And now, you know what I'm saying, he's uh, he's here for this. You know what I'm saying? Like, So now, what do we do? Like, this, do, do you see Jag as a battle rapper? Like, like, well, like, it all depends on where you view him at, his vantage point in the, in the battle rap shit. Is this something that we're going to see Jag doing seriously? Is he going to continue to do it? He's got bars. He's got a good cadence. Um, I still believe that he's finding his footing because when I watched him battle versus Math, it was just he was just on ten the whole way through. Like, mm -hmm. I don't even think he took a breath in the whole battle. You know what I'm saying? No. Like, he's just like no. boom, 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 boom. Like he's just rapid fire all mm -hmm. the way. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like. Uh, half to half to half to give it half the math. They don't give half the math, and then the blood bath is the aftermath. Like, Speaking you know. of blood, I'm a real blood. And I do the real blood with the real thugs. And I do shit with yeah, the real thugs. Yeah, I'm a real yeah, cuz. Yeah. I don't even move with the real cuz, but I got some real thugs. Yeah, I've been seeing in Cali. The last <laughs> time you was in Cali, you wasn't even seen in Cali. You had a dream that you was in the dream in Cali. Like, even that, I fuck with you, Jay. I do. That was fire. Yeah, well, <laughs> hey, yo, let's break this down. Don't break this down. Yeah. Don't break. We go. Oh, I ain't doing it. Oh, you wasn't even seen in Cali. The last time you was in Cali, you had a dream in Cali. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he like, and the thing is, I fuck with what he does. He he's got the ability to catch a nigga sleeping though. 
If you play with Jag, he catch you sleeping, and you fuck around and be down 1-0, oh, you be down 2-0, two, two, oh, and he be beat. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? But, uh... Um, so, so who, well, well, the reason why I'm, the reason why we're talking about Jag though, so like, so we say all that about Jag. Does does Jag have a chance beating O Red? Um, here's the thing, O Red mm -hmm. has had some good performances. He's had some bad performances. Um, he's had some performances that make you scratch your head, like what the fuck is going on here. He was fire versus A Ward in his last journey. Yes. You know what I'm saying like he definitely had some shit in there to the point mm -hmm. when he was making it debatable. They were saying some people were saying O Red, some people were saying A Ward. Those are good battles when people make it. It was debatable. a good graveyard battle. Yeah, it was good. It was, it was in ARP backyard and shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? The barbecue going and shit. You had right. two Rosenberg Raws there. You know what I'm saying? It was a good look. Um, Speaking of which, that's another battle. That was the battle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. See, ooh, mm -hmm. it's coming to me now. It's coming to me. I just me. saw it. And it was it's coming ooh, to me. It's linked up. It's linked up. Um. So, uh, while I think, I think Jag wants it more because Jag is trying to show himself in battle and prove himself. Right. But talent-wise, like, if we're just going off raw talent, man, O-Red should beat a Jag. He okay. He should, should beat him. Say that one more time. If we're basing it off talent alone, mm -hmm. and this is just nothing all ba um, Battle rap talent. Battle rap not talent. Not music not talent. music talent. Jag is better than most of these. Correct. Guys. But battle rap talent, O-Red got 40, 50 battles. How could he not beat somebody that's only got two recorded battles? He should be able to win this without even. He should be able to win this in his in his, in his warm ups. He shouldn't even have to take his fucking warm up off to win this. Right. But the thing is, that's the reason why motherfuckers been getting beat because they've been knowing that they have battles which should be a layup, and then they come in there playing and then they get beat. So, uh, I'm gonna go on a limb and just go Jag two one. Fuck it. Give me Jag. Fuck it. I mean, I feel you. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I that. I think Vod is biased. You know what I'm saying? You definitely... <laughs> you compromised. No, no, no. Fuck out of here. Who fucks with me? Nobody fucks with me. Nobody. Like, come on. Nobody. 30 million views, you, though. You're right. Nobody fucks with you. Ah, <laughs> All I'm saying is, Jag has the potential to win because we don't... Two battles in, we still don't know the best Jag that we've seen. We haven't seen the best Jag. So he does have that... You know that 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 unpredictable that's out there. Right, right. What up? The unpredictableness of of Jag is still out there, but you gotta still look at the fact that O Red has been doing this for a while. So, like you said, he should he should win this battle. But there's been plenty of times where O Red has dropped the ball. There's been plenty of times, there's been a couple times where O Red slipped, blipped, and fell and bumped his motherfucking head. <laughs> well, I don't want to say all of the time, but at the same time, O Red ain't been, o, o Red been good, but I just feel like O Red just, he ain't been cooking like he's supposed to be cooking. Like, I, I, maybe it's just me, because it, it's ins and outs. Battles that should be a layup. But then they wind up dropping the ball and losing. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying that that's what's going to happen with this, with O-Red's situation. But he's just, in the past year or so, I've just seen too many scenarios where it's hot one battle, mm -hmm. cold the next one. Mm -hmm. And we, we are where we are. But, man, who's winning this? Let's just go there, man. I'm just going to put it to you like this, man. It, 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 what you're saying about the layup, it, yes, it is true. Like, I think this, this battle for O-Red should be a layup. Mm -hmm. But I think he called he he's called well Pope. I think he called Kuzma. You know what I'm saying? So this did you see this nigga airball a tech free throw? I'm sorry. That that That's crazy. They gave you the ball to shoot it. It was just like No, anyway. But I feel like Vodafly. But I feel like O Red, you you this is a layup for you. Like I really feel like this is a layup for you. This is one of them battles where how I say this is still an industry person trying to come into the game mm -hmm. and you need to kill that nigga. Make sure that he never shows up again. This right. is what I'm saying, that you have to have that same mentality over at Fort Jack. So what he's two year, he's two battles in. The two people that he's battled are on the same level playing that you either consider a peer or somebody that you would have already battled. Like mm -hmm. the last battle. Okay, so uh, uh, with uh, Jag, he battled math. Did over at battle math? I don't, I, it's not like, in my memory. Not, not in my memory bank, but all I'm saying is you got, and then he got 40 cows. Those are two battles where one of them, Matt was supposed to kill Jag, let him live. 
40 Cal was supposed to lose to, to, to Jag, and therefore that battle was kind of a debatable. This battle is the one that counts over here. You are the one that's in the game. You are the one that is a battler. Battle-tested, battle-proven. Please don't jack up this layup. Please. Please. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to say over here. I'll go with Jag, man. 2-1. I know. I know. The, hey, hey, SP. I know. Get your man. I know. Uh, <laughs> that's another story right there. <laughs> uh, that's another story. Hey, that's another yeah. story for the glory. Mm. Another battle that I do remember on this card, Shaw versus Rosenberg Raw. Mm -hmm. um, Rosenberg Raw, the last time I saw him was versus Head Ice. He yep. beat Head Ice. Yeah, you know beat him clearly. Clear. Beat him clearly. Mm -hmm. uh, I know y'all be having y'all, 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 but uh, I'm judging this battle strictly based off talent. Uh, I seen Show Off in the King of the Dot tournament. Uh, Show Off, uh, he battled Bonnie Godiva. Uh, he has some other battles. Show off gets busy. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I rock with what Show off does. He does his thing off the court too with uh promotion, the music, you know what I'm saying? Uh he blogs social justice, too. he blogs mm -hmm. and shit like that too. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, him versus Rosenberg Raw is one of those RBE grudge matches. Like yeah. they've been they've been down with RBE, they've been around RBE for mm -hmm. a big long for a minute. And this should be like if you were RBE enthusiast, like if you really rock with what RBE has going on and their movement from brick by brick, the whole thing, you know, ARP with the 89 minute blogs and shit, I fuck with him, that's my guy, but um, you should be glued to the, I should be glued to the screen for Rosenberg versus uh, Show Off, who you, how you feel about it? It's a, per, it's a it's a personal favor for RBE because both of them have, anytime that, uh, anytime they, they tried to venture out and go somewhere else, that battle just didn't look as good as it would had it, had it not been on RBE. Mm -hmm. RBE uh, has promoted Show Off. They, shoot, RBE uh -huh. has literally uh, Show Off had a bid, and not every day they was holding them down. Mm -hmm. So, like, the loyalty with Show Off and, uh, and RBE is amazing. So, therefore, this is a plate that should be given to somebody on this max out card. Like, mm -hmm. it's kind of like a favor that's a favor for a favor. So, as long as you're on that card, you're going to get the looks. This mm -hmm. battle is what's going to get you the looks. Same thing for Rosenberg Raw. Rosenberg Raw has been on the come up. And not a come up, but he's actually been on a greater run on RBE than any other league that he's been on. And let's really state the facts. The thing about uh, Rosenberg Raw is, is that he usually gets those battlers that are of the same gutter mentality that really is not the lyrical, metaphysical, heavy bar, heavy type person. So therefore, Rosenberg Raw will out gutter show off in this battle mm -hmm. but if we're talking about rapping and rapping mm -hmm. show off has layers on layers and layers of type of bars where mm -hmm. literally he's in the talks of a daylight type of pen because he's going somewhere abstract but he's trying to get to the point mm -hmm. so much to the point where show where we kind of don't know where you went with this mm -hmm. if i gotta pick a winner I'm going to have to throw in a little bit of the bias. I'm going to go with Rosenberg Raw mm. just with the slight edge. Just need you to stretch your pen a little bit, Ro like Rosenberg, and you have a battle to beat Show Off. But otherwise, Show Off is going to lyrically out you. Mm. I like the battle, man. I, I juggle back and forth with this one, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to lie. I, I just want it to be a good battle. Yeah. Um, oh, absolutely. I got, I got us winning in this one because it's an RBE classic. Like, dude, this is what RBE is about. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, you can give me show off in this one, too. One, you can give me Rosenberg Raw. But if you took one, I'll take the other just for the sake of let's just have something different. Mm -hmm. um, but these guys are both very, very talented. Overall, it's a, a pretty dope card. I will be watching. Um, mm -hmm. you, what, else you, what else we got here? Last but not least, we got Big K versus... Sirius Jones, the return of Sirius Jones and Big K, the RBE brawler, uh, 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 the the the, the uh, detective Big K, <laughs> or no, he's more of a private eye because like he he don't like the feds, but you know, say he he looks for the snitches. I I I, I can't really give that type of uh, analogy at this moment. Mm -hmm. Bar wise, Big K has this. Bar wise, Big K definitely can win this. The big surprise is, what is Sirius Jones going to say after all of this? Mm -hmm. We already expect Big K to pull something out, or at least what we think because of Big K's last show, and we expect Big K to kind of expose Sirius Jones of all of his allegations right now. But what if they just rap? Mm -hmm. I would have Big K winning. No antics needed. So I'm going I'm to I'm go with Big K on this one. Dope card. Rev Reed Entertainment. Max out. But I get that check and have a melt the land with pretty hoes. Feel me though, I'm bullying.
moving, boy. Just keep the boo, keep moving, boy. You don't want to be the reason they ask me where we shoot for. Cause bitch, I always get all the time. 24-7, 365. Wait a minute, as I count my blessings, this'll take a minute. Uh, Cause he's been good to me, good to me as good can be. 